All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a little while to uh, Two Dudes, One Garage. I'm Alex. Hey, this is Leo. Um, today, we'll be talking about the Fed rising rates by half a percent point. But before we do that, man, it's been a while since we looked at the uh, coin market cap. Look at that coin market cap as far as May 18, 2022. Um, the overall crypto sphere ecosystem market cap is 1.2 trillion i'm off today man uh <clears throat> so is the market <laughs> but anyways dude 1.2 trillion like yeah it's it's a big drop um uh globally today it dropped three percent um just looking at let's look at the top 10 real fast bitcoin sitting at twenty nine thousand. ethereum 1900 Damn, Ethereum's at nineteen hundred, dude. Yeah, That's insane. I know. It doesn't usually drop on that, 2K. Yeah, and, and um, um, last last time last time we were looking at Ethereum at nineteen hundred, that was like the beginning of like twenty twenty one when when um last year when we were actually like going heavy on crypto. I think it, it was around that price range. Yeah, and it then might it, dumped, and, it might have dumped back yeah, once or twice and, down like eighteen and back and then up. it just yeah I never saw that again. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so and then like the the altcoins going into altcoins, we have uh, XRP at forty one cents. We have uh, Cardano at fifty two cents. Solana fifty dollars, and Doge made the top ten cutoff at eighty at eight cents. Wait a and, second, are we missing one here? Like where? where yeah, where yeah, is that thing? Where yeah. Where uh, go? I don't see the moon. Yeah, so. so damn <laughs> we can get into that yeah we'll get it we'll get into the whole moon crashing just <laughs> blew the blew the moon out of the freaking sky why won't you you know what i mean yeah. it was it was it was very uh it was very uh i, should, I don't even have the words to explain it with like it was very sho shocking it was shocking it was shocking yeah. um it was it was very unexpected for a top 10 coin to do something like that very unexpected you, you expect like a freaking top you know yeah. 200 coin or something like that you know but anyways alex here you go bro um i don't think a lot of this is particularly um surprising i think like a week or two ago i was actually hanging out with another crypto buddy and we were kind of shocked to see the prices dip what is this 70 80 percent i mean it's pretty it's a lot but it's temporary and if you want to bring up the next tab, basically a big reason for a lot of this is the Fed um, did their rate hike um, a half percentage. Um, the Fed raises rates by half a percentage, the biggest hike in two decades to fight inflation. And here's my whole theory really quick that until inflation is handled a little more under control, if even possible, I think all financial markets, because the S&P, everything is just like tanking, right? Until this happens, because this might happen multiple more times, I don't think prices are going to get too, uh, are going to be suppressed because people are going to be nervous for a while. I'm going to maybe see a little bit of money flood in, but I honestly, I uh, might be a freaking another year. Um, but as long as we understand what's happening, once that kind of like um, gets regulated, figured out, I think, I think we'll be good to go. So, you know, if there's stuff you really like, not financial advice, but pick it up now or, you know, as it continues to go down and then uh, you'll be good long term. But yeah, good. it's regardless, it's a good time to buy. It's a great time to buy. So yeah, so it says the Federal Reserve increased its benchmark interest rate by half a percentage point in line with market expectations. In addition, the central bank outlined a program in which it eventually will reduce its bond holdings by $95 billion a month. Seems like a lot. Um <laughs> The rate move is the largest since 2000 in its response to burgeoning inflation pressures. Um, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell underlined the commitment to bringing inflation down, but indicated that raising rates by 75 basis points at a time is not something by a committee is actively considering. Let me go down. Um, all this is really complicated. All you need to know for investing purposes is that a lot of this stuff, you know, it scares the market. People there's not as much incentive to invest. So um, Washington, the Federal Reserve on Wednesday raised the benchmark interest rate half a percentage point, the most aggressive step in its fight against 40 year high inflation. Inflation is much too high and we understand the hardship it is causing. We're moving expeditiously to bring it back down. The Fed chairman, Jerome Paul said during a news conference in which 
he opened with an unusual direct address to the American people. He noted the burden of inflation on lower income people, saying we're strongly committed to restoring price stability. That likely will mean, according to the chairman's comments, multiple 50 basis point rate hikes ahead, though likely nothing more aggressive than that. Um, The federal fund rate sets how much banks charge each other for short term lending, but also tied a variety of adjustable rate consumer debt. Along with the move higher in rate, the central bank indicated it will begin reducing asset holdings on its $9 trillion balance sheet. The Fed has been buying bonds to keep interest rates low and the money flowing through the economy during the pandemic, but the price, the surge in prices has enforced a dramatic rethink in monetary policy. Markets were prepared for both moves, but nonetheless have been volatile throughout the year. Investors have relied on the Fed as an active partner in making sure markets function well, but inflation surge has necessitated tightening. Any thoughts on this so far? Oh, man. Yeah, so they, they, they're trying to get their money back that they just, you know, burn through the whole epidemic you know i mean they they need to recuperate some of this money this free money some of this money they sent to other countries for no reason they need to come they need to collect so they're going to raise interest rates interest rates means you know banks increase their interest rates and it's harder it's more expensive to loan money out and everything becomes more expensive because of that right Yeah. yeah so um honestly it's inevitable it's gonna happen um I think the only way a crypto market can actually thrive through some something like this would be if the government would actually kind of be more lenient and accept crypto as a currency and use it as a another way of like leveraging, you know, yeah. their econ- stimulating their economy. Yeah. That's the only way I feel the crypto will survive this. If not, it's just going to keep uh seeing lower lows, man. I don't really see it going any higher than where we're at now for now. For now. For now. Um, as far as who knows when it's going to go up, it's anybody's guess. No one knows um, unless you're a billionaire and you just want to pump something up for like just a couple of days. You know what I mean? Yeah, for the meme, you know. Yeah. But besides that, I, I totally understand. Um, people are scared. Scared money doesn't make money. You know, people are saving their money. Some people need money because everything's expensive. You know what I mean? So watch our yeah. show where you lose money. Yeah. Where you, <laughs> if you listen to us, you guarantee you'll lose all your money. Document, <laughs> document, documenting it as we slowly go down. Yeah. But yeah. For and, now, yeah. You know. So, yeah. Th- and this podcast is pretty much it's more of a documentation than anything. Like we're just documenting the, the, the crypto process. Like we want to look back 10 years from now and be like, oh, like we were, you know, we were pumping up, you know, Ethereum, you know, at 4K and we were wishing wishing we had an opportunity to buy ethereum again at 1800 you know what i mean and like i think people don't understand that and people in like the psychology behind investing and seeing those green bars it's like oh it's going up i'm gonna miss the train so you get excited and you're in, and when it's too expensive for you to buy and you're like well i remember the days when it was 1800 dollars. now it's four thousand or forty five hundred and you're like well i wish you know i wish i could have like stacked back then well this is then is now now you know what i mean like this is the opportunity for you now yeah so like if you're one of those people that was like man i wish i could invest it at ethereum at 1800 or 1900 well that's where it's at now man what are you doing right now are you dollar cost averaging or are you just dumping a you know a 2k into it and getting a whole ethereum coin like what are you doing like yeah so as far as for me i'm i'm probably just gonna dca this um, because I can't really, I'm not really good at reading charts and I'm like, not bothered. It's DCA is like a, it's like a, I don't know how should I put this is like a automatic, you know, yeah. like just yeah. reading charts for me, I guess. We've definitely touched on Yeah. That. We talked on it in a previous podcast. If you don't know what that is, uh, please look at our other videos. <laughs> well, I think also that at the end of the day, like there's a lot of strong fundamentals for crypto. There's some of the analysts and stuff that look at all this stuff all the time from a financial perspective and like metrics and data say like there's always more money coming in because like people are interested in building stuff so i think we're seeing a really interesting time where people forget like there's a lot of value being built and it's decoupling with price a lot and so like it's hard to know what a lot of things are really worth so if you're looking at something you go like i really think this is great then you know it's all about personal conviction and interest. I mean, you can't just throw your money at a hundred projects, but you, you know, kind of whittle them down to like, what do I really think can be around in five years? And, you know, I think that's, that's a good way to go. But regardless, um, a lot of the metrics 
and the data is that uh you know crypto's growing regardless so price might be down but um i think all the signs look good so yeah anyways anyways and going back to like how Alex said he was talking to his buddy about crypto and everything, I, I, a buddy called me too and was like, you know, I, when I talked to him about the first rise in, in 2020, at the beginning of 2021, the first pump that we actually saw after like fully investing in crypto, um, kind of hit me up a few days ago and it was like, hey man, I need, I want to invest. I need to know your platform. I need to know what you're thinking because right now I just see Bitcoin at like 29,000. And Bitcoin's all time high was 65, almost 70K. Like, uh, I see the value. Um, I know we're in a recession. Um, I need to get in now. Um, and I told him, you know, where to go and everything. So we'll see what happens there. But yeah, right now it's pretty much um, anybody that was hesitant or afraid or expecting something like this to happen because it was everyone, like the naysayers are saying, is a bubble and it was eventually going to come down crashing. Um, they can now get in or they can sit back and just, you know, say they're right because it was just a guess anyways. <laughs> well, it always happens. It always happens. It's predictable. It's yeah. going to happen. Over, over, over. It's going to happen, yeah. Uh, but as far as like 80%, you know, that was kind of like a a big, a big, you know, dent in in um, in the crypto investment world for sure. Not a lot of people are expecting that. Um, but DCA or just sit back and just, you know, try not to open up your wallet, your exchanges and look because you're just going to like be depressed. Um, so pretty much just focus on something else. Like I've actually got into other other projects and other things not affiliated with NFTs or cryptos. And it's really uh, taking me off of this actual crazy time that like if I wasn't doing that, I'd be looking at this stuff and I'd be like mad all the time. Like what the hell or 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 trying to get more money to buy more coins. But, right. but then again, you buy more and it goes down even more. So, you know, they always say buy the dip, but what happens when the dip keeps dipping after you buy, you know what I mean? Like, what do you do? Exactly. Yeah. It's a hard time. Um, Long term, I'm not honestly concerned at all, but I would say that, you know, beginning of May, when we saw this, I was hanging out with my, my buddy, like the day the fed rate, you know, hike came in and we were both just, He's, he knows enough about crypto to be like, we're both just sitting there like, I'm not in pain or anything or whatever. Like, I'm not scared, but I'm still shocked. I'm like, wow, I didn't know things could go down 75, whatever percent. And I still think everything's honestly fine. If you look at the financial system and everything else going down and crypto's 90, 100 times smaller than the stock market and it's doing bad, eh, it's not that interesting, but that initial that initial shock of everything going down that hard is like, ugh, wow, really? Okay, uh, I need to finish this. Um, just touch a little more on this. Um, the American economy is very strong and well positioned to handle tighter monetary policy. He said, "What foresees is a soft or softest landing for the economy, despite tighter monetary policy." Um, the plan outlined Wednesday will see the balance sheet reduction happen in phases with the Fed allowing a capped level of proceeds from maturing bonds to roll off each month while investing in the rest. Starting June 1st, we will see $30 billion of treasuries and $17.5 billion of mortgage-backed securities roll off. After three months, the cap of treasuries will increase to $60 billion and $35 billion for mortgages. Those numbers were mostly in line with discussions. The last Fed meeting is described in minutes from the first session, though there were some expectations that increase would be more gradual. I think we got the gist here. Um, and you, yeah, I, I think this is going to happen um, more so. Wouldn't be surprised if people were, you know, extreme fear in the market. Things are down for a while. But if you want to write it out, you still like crypto or finance and stocks, then you just got to write it out for a while. Pretty much don't have any more anything else to say about this. This inflation is, is hitting, you know, and you either, you know, save your money and wait. If you're one of those people that likes to jump in when everything is going up again because you feel like it won't keep going down. I get it. Um, hold on, just wait. But if you're people that wants to just like accumulation, like this is a perfect point to accumulate. Like yep. accumulation point. Like that's what you want. Go ahead. Even if it goes down a little bit more, you know. I mean, I don't see like Bitcoin going to twenty k. But you know, even if it goes to twenty five and you got it at twenty nine, it's like wow, that's it's freaking great. I mean, uh, Bitcoin hasn't really even been under like thirty thirty two k for what since like the beginning of twenty twenty one or something. So. 
uh, or at least like hovering around there for anyways, above that for quite a while. So it's like a really good time. Um, but you know, do what you want and, uh, make your own long-term plan and assessment. Uh, yeah, you never want to be oversaturated and, uh, you know, too invested in the market where you're freaking out, um, be able to relax. So, uh, and I'm going to touch more on that in a little bit. So, uh, got some more fun things coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, now we're going to be talking about the, you know, what everybody's been talking about the past week or so. Um, what happened to the, one of the top 10 coins is so promising. It was like literally going to be like, it was like the number two coin altcoin. And we're talking about Terra Luna, you know, Terra Luna. Um, I really don't know much about what happened. I, I really looked into it, but Alex has, he knows, but I'm just looking at it. Like you invest in the top 10 coins because you know, they're, they're the most promising, you know? And, and when you look at something like this happen, you're like, why and how that's all you gotta say like how that's like that's like ethereum just like everyone just sells off ethereum and you're just like dude it was ethereum dude what happened like right. like isn't somebody yeah, working yeah, on yeah, this? yeah 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 <laughs> wasn't this like the like is, this isn't this isn't, isn't ethereum like literally decentralized internet making everything happen underneath yeah. ethereum like why would they shut everything down or right. you know that's like you pretty much pulling a plug on crypto at that point you know what i mean but it wasn't that huge it was just more like it's pretty big it was it was big but it was like it wasn't like ethereum big it was like one of those like you know like if you just saw like xrp disappear like if, so, if someone saw doge just disappear out of nowhere they're like yeah i was about time like it was a meme yeah it was like, a meme like no one no one we're done it, with it yeah like it, they they yeah. doge the thing i love about doge is that they promise nothing dude and people still invest yeah. in this thing they, yeah. they don't come out here and be like oh we're gonna build our you know our our, our code and our code and we're gonna you know we're gonna go from proof <laughs> to staking we're not they don't promise anything there's like three dudes He's like looking at that thing like once a, a month, you know, they're like, oh, it's running. All right, cool. You know, but anyways, uh, Terra Luna, uh, Alex, you want to fill us in on what happened with that For or, sure. all right, cool. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. And I guess to touch on that, I guess, you know, Doge and Elon and, um, kind of like Vitalik from Ethereum have all touched, like talked about throwing the idea about Doge and like upgrading and stuff, but yeah, it'll probably never happen, right? I mean, it's not going to be a thing. Um, if people can't see that. You want to keep investing, like, you deserve it, I think. Like, you know, like, pick any other garbage coin and have a good time. As long as you're having fun, I guess, at that point, right? Pay for your own entertainment. So, um, basically, um, they're saying this is, like, the biggest loss of value in crypto that's ever happened um, because it was, like, somewhere between like 30 and 40 billion dollars in value when when i talk about in value it's not just the coin but it's their ecosystem and everything there's terra luna which is the coin which you burn a part of that and that's like the mint reserve for ust which is the stable coin but they also had a bunch of other stable coins like the um korean dollar and all this like they had like 15 and i had that in the wallet and i was like getting you know money from all like all of them um, but you could pick, you know, the one you wanted or get to pay, pay it out or whatnot. But so anybody in the world, basically they were kind of going for stable coins of all these different things and linking everything together. What I really liked about them is you'd always see headlines that they're collaborating, doing something new. Like recently they were doing stuff with Solana and Avalanche making bridges and stuff because they have this like super awesome stable coin that's working really well. So this money is just going everywhere and people preferred it to um, a lot of the other stable coins because it was not uh, government backed or whatever. It's not tether where it's like probably there, but we don't know. And um, the money was there, right? So, and it used an algorithm to stay pegged to a dollar and you could sell um, Luna when uh, UST was like under over a dollar to make like a little bit of money. And it worked very well. That's the thing that like I hate about this project. Um, watching it is like there were so many good things going for it and so many cool ecosystem things that for me, it's more of a bummer than anything, whether or not, um, yeah, it was malicious or somebody was just trying to make money or the owners, um, developers did disappear with the money regardless. It's just, it's a bummer because it was a good, it was a good project. I think, um, some people say it was a Ponzi scheme because you have anchor, which is like a savings account. They give you like 19, 
on your money? I don't know. At the end of the day, every business is successful because it advertises. And if you have the money and what they were doing is they just had a huge fund of like a couple hundred million dollars and they just top it off every once in a while. Well, if you have the money, you're not like spending somebody else's money to give someone else. Like that's not a Ponzi scheme. That's an amazing advertising, right? Like, so I don't know. Um, they did a great job of drawing people in and stuff and like their, their wallet was great. And so there was, there was a lot of positive things. And I honestly think, yeah. So the fed right hike happened and then people got scared in the markets. So it's already weak. And then somebody took a billion UST, um, their stable coin and just started dumping it on the market, trying to hammer, just break the stable coin. You had a, you had a billion dollars of this stuff. So it wasn't easy to break. Like it shows that it was a good, um, obviously it was working very well. Um, and then they were shorting Bitcoin because Bitcoin, um, they had bought to collateralize, um, Terra so they could sell some off to like keep the peg. Right. But Bitcoin's already going down and people are shorting it cause they're trying to destroy this thing. Right. And then they're probably shorting Luna too. I mean, who knows? It's like an insane story. So, but, um, the LFG or Luna, Luna foundation guard, their idea was to get $10 billion in Bitcoin so they can like collateralize. And they actually wanted to make it on a system and they hadn't set this up yet is like people could actually trade um, the stable coin for like small amounts of Bitcoin. So it's like people are always going to do that. Right. I mean, that's a brilliant idea. This is one of those things that, like if they actually implemented it and it was really safe, you probably hear a tear for the next 10, 20 years because the shit is incredible. I mean, it was already amazing. It, they had uh, $18 billion with the stable coins all in crypto everywhere. Right. Um, it, people were flooding to them. It was very successful. They had a ton of money in their savings protocols. Um, yeah, everybody liked them. So their um, interfaces were all awesome. And then, yeah, so somebody took a billion dollars and just started throwing that, trying to break the peg. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, Bitcoin was getting short. It was just it was, it was a crazy time. Um, it's really hard to say. They're doing forensic data and stuff, and they're not sure who did it. Um, if you want to touch this one here, there's this... Um, forensic company or whatever that's called elliptic that said what happened to the three and a half billion dollar terror reserve um elliptic follows bitcoin and so yeah they had like 80 80 thousand bitcoin but three and a half billion oh yeah so they had some other coins in there also like so avalanche a couple couple hundred thousand of like a couple of things right so um you can kind of see here maybe that like, yeah, went, went to a bunch of different wallets went to Gemini, it went to Binance. It went to a couple different exchanges and stuff. And, um, I think at the end of the day, we really have no, um, actual proof of what has happened yet exactly. So we kind of got to wait. I don't want to accuse anybody, of anything. Um, the more it comes out, Do Kwan that was in charge of Terra, like it's not looking super good for him because, um, I don't know, just like a couple different, couple different things, but a uh, number one that he dissolved this company like a couple days before, but they move around and stuff. So it's, that's not like, but then also you're really going to sell off like billions of dollars and it just happened to be gone within a couple of days just to do the peg. It seems like you're probably trading, maybe um, trying to, a lot of people are saying is, oh, all the whales are being paid off and stuff. The biggest ones are the the early investors because like they want to make sure they're not going to, somebody's going to come after them. So I don't know. Re regardless, I mean, I think it's really, it's a bummer because who wants, um, it's one of those first things that like you could really see the entrepreneurial like skill and precision and um, strategy. Some of these things, like even Ethereum is great, but it's like, there's a lot of creativity, but they're sort of floundering and like whatever. These people are making all these business plans and actually getting people to move around. The next next person or two that does this stuff is gonna stay around in crypto forever. You gotta, you, you gotta make sure, obviously, if you make a stable coin, it can't um, uh, get broken. And some people are saying, yeah, that stuff needed to be collateralized, like, you know, 400 a thousand percent like there's just no way and then also the protocol itself stops printing them because it's like not safe anymore so stuff like this can't happen i think once we get to that point people are like oh like algorithmic back stable coin c they're never gonna work 
I don't think that's the case. I, I think somebody will hack it eventually for sure. It's um, going to be, you know, the de facto coin in DeFi eventually. Um, but it just needs to be safer because, like I said, if this was done correctly, I just can't see him destroying his own thing that he worked his ass off. And it's like $40 billion worth. He's got to answer all these people. He's getting sued. I don't, I don't know. What do you think?